welcome to this how-to series for Huddo Boards. This is video two and I'm here to talk about collaboration. So you'll notice I'm in the Microsoft integration for Huddo Boards and in my general channel I've added a tab called New Board. So this is the board I made in video one. So I'm still in the Kanban view. You'll probably notice some of the same cards at the top, but you probably will notice as well I have new members and a lot of new cards. So the first thing to talk about is that you can collaborate on a card or a task or actually on the board itself. So if I go to new board and click here, I'm going to be see I'm going to see an expanded view of kind of different options like mark complete, set dates, attach link. So this applies to the board itself. What I really want to show you is adding comments. So here I'm going to add Haley, my colleague, and then I'm going to also add Maria. So these are two people who have cards and kind of assigned to them on my board. So I just want to let them know that I'm adding an external collaborator later in the day. And this is more of a heads up. So it just applies to the project as a whole and not a specific card. So this is why it's great to kind of add that here and not a particular task. Um, and before I close that, actually, um, you'll probably see a lot of these features used in cards, uh, including the at sign and attach a link, archive, mark complete, etc. Um, and you know, as as I at Haley, she's going to see this notification, and she's going to click here and see this card. Um, but let's apply this sort of similar thing to a card or a task itself. So here on welcome email. Uh, first, I want to attach a file, so uh, in the spirit of collaboration, I'm going to find an online file uh, within SharePoint itself. So here I've got a kind of shared directory that we can all access, and I'm going to look for a Excel spreadsheet that there is. Okay, so as I attach this, um, it's a, basically an online document, which means that whoever collaborates on it, we're collaborating on the same version. Uh, in a minute I'm going to add Haley, but I'm going to ask her for her input and she's going to kind of add her kind of feedback to the same file that I'm looking at. So let's at mention Haley now. Uh, I'm just going to ask her to have a look at the file that I've just added. So very similar to the comment on the board, Haley's going to get an email notification and she's going to come here and she's going to see that I want her to look at this file. But she might not really understand what this is about. So this is what a description is great for. So I can quickly add in a description here, just letting her know that this email is actually about the launch and it's for users. Uh, and this particular file that I've just added is about kind of trial users and making sure that we let them know of the, the new product. So you know you can already see on this expanded card view we have quite we've got dates, colored tables, we have comments and app mentions and files. So if I come out of there, you'll see that I have these icons on this card now. So set dates was there before, but I have the description, I have a, 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 an attached file, and here I have the comment. So you can see these are everywhere uh, on lots of different tasks. So you can see all of these have a file or a comment or a description or a subtask. Or uh, Actually here you see that this is a colored card. So I actually added an image and said use as card theme. So it's just add, applying that image to the card itself. So just a bit of fun for me just to make it more visual. So let's take a look at another task. Let's pick the webinar. So um, again, I've, I've already set the dates and the highlights, but what I want to do is attach a file. This time I want to actually upload a file, not an online file. So I'm looking at my desktop and I'm picking a partner logo that I made. And as I upload this, I'm basically sharing it with Maria. So what I want is actually approval from the partner to use this logo. So I'm actually going to ask Maria in a comment if she can check with the partner if we can use this particular logo or how I've used it in a hexagonal shape. And I'm going to add a sub card. So here I'm just going to put in something like logo approval. And then when Maria gets this notification, she's going to come here and see what she needs to do. And when she's done it, she can tick uh, logo approval. So I know that it's been done. If I return to the card view, you can see I have all of these kind of symbols again, but this time I also have a drop down menu here and it will show me the subtask that I just created, so logo for approval. And actually from here I can drag Maria's icon to that subtask and she can be assigned to that specific subtask. You'll see that I've got another one here for press release with quite a few, so I can expand multiple subtasks across my board. 
So this is an, an, an excellent way of collaborating. So earlier, I uh, also mentioned adding an external collaborator. So if I add members here, you'll see that I can search, but I can also add an email address. So I'm very carefully going to type in Carolina's email address here, um, making sure that I don't make mistakes. Actually, I can already see it's .co.uk, not .com. Glad I noticed that. So here you can see that I have permission level. I'm actually going to set, set her to perhaps reader because I want her to see what tasks I'm assigning to her, but I don't think I really want her to kind of have editor privileges. So if I now change that and press add members, what's going to happen is Carolina is going to be sent an email inviting her to this board and she will need to create an account perhaps through LinkedIn or Facebook or Google. When she actions that, she will appear as a member here. But as I come back, you'll see that she's still greyed out because I need her to action that email. But when she does kind of action that and create an account, she will appear here. And what I can do is add her to the cards that I want her to work on. So you remember in video one, I added green labels for graphic design. So if I filter that again now, you'll see that I get a subset of just those cards. So I can take Carolina's icon and add her to all of these cards. So that's an excellent way for me to be able to organize and kind of collaborate with both internal and external people. So let's do a quick recap. Uh, collaboration can happen in two main kind of areas for boards. Uh, one is on the card and task, the other is the board itself. So here you'll see I've at mentioned Haley and Maria in a comment, but you know I can add files, descriptions, things here. And then for the cards and tasks themselves, the thing that you're might most likely to collaborate within, here you'll see the original kind of set dates and color labels we used before, but let's pick a new card where I've added further collaboration kind of features too. So here you'll see that I've added some files um, and here are a comment, uh, maybe more for myself. Let's pick one that I'm collaborating with someone with. Here you'll see I've at mentioned Haley, asking her to look at this kind of document. So this document was uploaded from SharePoint, meaning that when she collaborates on this document, we're on the same version. So we're not working on two different files and kind of the collaboration is centralized in the document, not just the card itself. Um, let's pick another example here. The partner webinar that I showed earlier has a subtask. So in this view, I can expand and I can see that there's a subtask here for Maria uh, associated to it. So she's kind of responsible for doing that. And I added a comment again, and here's the file that I'm asking her to share. Uh, and then she can tick that it's, she's got the approval from the customer. Uh, maybe one final one, uh, the app mockups. So here I've got a description, obviously, so people understand what it's about. Um, just in case anyone comes and looks, they know what uh, the, the task relates to. Um, so they're excellent ways that you can collaborate with internal and external collaborators on a board. Thanks for your time. Hey.